Edibles can be a lot of fun. I think that they can be used for medicinal purposes. I think that cannabis consumption in edibles is this, you know, burgeoning new field, but it's also been going on uh, for thousands of years. I got started when I was in college. I paid for school out of pocket. I did have a job on the side as well, but in order to pay for tuition, I just ended up having a source for weeds, so why not make pastries? This is really not something new, but the ways in which edibles are being displayed and created, it's this whole new world. And so it's really fascinating to go to legal states and see where these gondrepreneurs are taking medical cannabis. It's not just pot brownies and cookies anymore. It's really gourmet chocolate and candies and that it's not just about getting high, it's about healing ourselves. Almond Joys is pretty much the same process as the uh, peanut butter cups. Pretty much throw everything into your bowl and then you mix it. So if someone wants a custom order or anything that isn't off my basic menu, if you will, first question is, is it just for you or is it for other people? The approximate cost of an edible kit is really far reaching. It could be anywhere from $10 to $60. I think it's a matter of quantity and then also quality too. How much are you willing to spend? That's the second question because most people don't realize how expensive it is, especially when you increase the dosage. All the normal questions just also confirming how many people want to get stoned and how stoned you want them to be. There's these cannabis dinners and there's people who are offering nine course gourmet meals. I wanted to bring people together in a very intimate atmosphere over a shared experience. So we call this the art of social dining. So it's not really just like we're cannabis chefs. We actually don't even like to be called cannabis chefs. We actually just love to cook, to entertain, and to hang out with great people. So this whole experience started by Sunday night dinners with me and my wife, me and friends, inviting a couple people over. That turned into people going, you know, I could bring somebody else. And then somebody offered us um, their common area and their building, and then we started doing small dinner parties. So we're doing our kind of play on a surf and turf menu. So we did like a deconstructed salad, a wedge salad, with some prosciutto, some walnuts, some pears, um, some French, some, uh, some fresh textures, some crunchy textures, some sweet sour, bitter, all of that. For this one, we infused the buttermilk ranch dressing uh, with a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil. So, so a lot of the times people look at us and they go, oh, you guys are a can of chef and that's all you guys kind of really do. But it's really kind of the opposite. What we do is responsible consumption through proper dosing. It's really kind of reintroducing people to a relationship we believe people had with the plant when it was first put onto this planet. New York decided to pass the New York Compassionate Care Act. Under the New York Compassionate Care Act, we have no consumption of edibles or flowers at all, which makes it really difficult for, for some patients to medicate. Generally, uh, anything from 80 milligrams to 200 milligrams of THC is a good dose for something like a medical treat. Under legalization, there would be a market for edibles, so you would be able to go into a dispensary and know that you're getting a regulated product. Under legalization, we would probably have stricter uh, consumer testing where the dispensaries or the manufacturers of the, the edibles themselves would be responsible for accurate dosing and the accuracy of the labeling too with the edibles. The future of cannabis is actually what we try to present. Like I look at how we approach things as this is a legal landscape. How would people participate with cannabis if they actually had the choice and could do it however they want? We feel it would be in settings like this. We feel it would be a choice to be social, to be with your friends, to be in intimate places.